Um, uh, Eternal Redemption, Rod of Iron, KGB, also known as uh, Jeremy Carter. Um, he's he starts off with um, saying that uh, Gene Kim um, said if if you take the uh, mark of the beast, we have to just chop off your your right uh, hand. Um, no, in the Bible, it says if you take the mark of the beast, that's it, finished. And and I believe that. It's what the Bible says, not what other people say. Anyway, um, I, I, uh, it's three persons in the Godhead. Um, All right, I'm back finally. It's been a while. Um, going to be doing a uh, kicking. Today on Gene Kim, this is a liar. Uh, this guy says a lot of heretic things. He says that a believer in the time of Jacob's trouble can take the mark of the beast and cut their hand off and still be saved. I mean, that's... Um, the Bible says once you take the mark of the beast, that's it, right? Finished. And I believe what the Bible says. I don't care what Gene Kim says. Blatant heresy, but what I'm actually going to be kicking today, another Catholic Trinity believer. I mean, who knew? You know, right? I mean, Brian came out this morning with uh, Greg Miller teaching the same thing. Well, well, the the Bible does teach, right? There's three in one, one in one in three, right? The 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 Godhead is three persons, right? The 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 um the uh, Ed Fenninger has the Godhead correct, right? You Jeremy Carter have never preached the blood. Are you trusting in the blood of Jesus, right? This is a message to you, Jeremy Carter. If so, great, you're saved. If not, then then you're lost. Right, if 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 you're trusting only uh, in what you've done, you're lost. I'm not trusting in anything I did. I used to ask Jesus into my life all the time, not every night, but very regular, because I had that doubt come into my mind whether I was saved. Right, and, and I kept on asking Jesus and asking Jesus and asking Jesus in. Right. And I still had that doubt in my mind. I still had that doubt. Now, now I don't ask anymore. I'm not trusting in my asking. I'm trusting in what Jesus did. I'm trusting in his shed blood. Um, it seems seems you uh, uh, follow everything Brian uh, um, b b believes. You know, this three-person God. You know, that God's got three persons to himself. I mean, that's a contradiction. Stupid. It's lunacy. You know, but we're listening to Gene Kim and listen to what he said. Ed, would you just play this video to, to the, um, uh, further and, and, and so, so you, everyone can, can hear what, uh, Gene and, uh, um, J J Jeremy both say, of course, uh, Kim was wrong to say about the mark of the beast. I don't agree with him on that, but but I do believe uh, Jesus is God's son because the Bible clearly says so. Simple as that. Jesus is God's son, not God the Father. End of story. He says anybody that believes in the biblical God has a modalist. Listen to this. Alright, next question. Hi, past. <laughs> I never heard that before. That's an abbreviation for pastor. I think that's pretty cool. Hi, past. Mm -hmm. Can you do a little teaching about modalism? I think that's how you pronounce it. Modalism. It's a doctrine which contradicts Trinity. Thanks. Alright, so I'm not sure if you heard of this doctrine, but surprisingly, there's, there are people 
out there who believe this, and it is kind of common. We had one of these, We I met two of these guys, actually, uh, who tried to get into our church. So I'm surprised that we get those kind of people. Okay, so let me explain. Jesus is... Mom Jesus is God's son. And and I know Denlinger has salvation wrong, right? And and Breger has proved that to me. Breger has clearly proved it to me. Plus, I kept on asking Jesus into my life for many years and I had the doubt in my mind. And it says not of yourself. And of yourself is what you did. So my prayer and relying on my prayer... Right, never saved me, right? I don't like the bloodless gospel. You trust in the, uh, a bloodless gospel, Jeremy. Uh, um, yeah, Carter. Modelism is actually, well, it's obvious, it's a heresy, all right? So modelism is a heresy that contradicts the Trinity. Oh, but listen to what he says, though. He says anybody that believes in the biblical Godhead is a modalist. Okay, now, Jehovah Witnesses, we do know that they do not believe in the Trinity, right? Now, modalism, they're the opposite of Jehovah Witnesses, but they do not believe in the Trinity. So, let me explain right here. In what way? Well, well, I'm a Christian because I believe I'm saved because I'm trusting in, in what Jesus did. He shed blood, and what Jesus did is good enough. Now, uh, Brian Denlinger, right, he's... Well, we we go to um, Brian De De Denlinger now. I don't want to, and 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 we have a look at the. Title from last week, right? And and it's blessed from me what uh, he's he's. Uh, Jesus didn't understand the Trinity and the uh, origin of the divine essence. Jesus is all knowing. God the Father is all knowing, and and uh, and uh, the Holy Spirit is all knowing. Okay, so so that's a slap in the face. Uh, to the Lord Jesus, to, to the God of the Bible. Um, right, now, this this guy in the video, or this one, why the controversy of the Godhead versus the Trinity, Brother uh, Philip New Newton. N N Newton is another one of... Uh, uh, Denlinger's f f followers. I don't trust any of them. And if he's not tr trusting in the blood of Jesus, then he's not saved. And 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 it is everything to do. Uh, the blood is good enough. See, Th thank you guys.